What up, y'all? Jamie Kirsten here, and this video is going to be a, a critical self analysis. We're gonna go in depth to we're gonna go, we're gonna go in depth on what's holding so many people back. And I, you know how I am with these videos, man. Like I really do my best to shoot the ones that I feel like are purposeful. All my videos have purpose behind them. But we're gonna go a lot deeper into this. So you know, if you want something quick and whatnot, you may want to watch any of my you know one of my other videos. But if you want to go deep into what's happening to you and um, you know in case you're not getting everything that you want in life you're not accomplishing dreams life seems hard you know what i'm saying you don't really know what's going on you're confused uh you feel like the end is near you feel like you don't know what to do with your life your loss you're questioning your, your actions and sure you're not you're not taking any action at all uh, we have to get to, to the meat of that and we have to undo what's been done because shit's been done to you you know you you're in a world that is designed for you to not prosper, unfortunately. Like, the yes, the world, that little circular thing. You know, you just keep waking up every day. Some comes up, some can, comes down. That world's not designed for you to win. So you have to learn from those who've won. And what I mean by won, there's people out there who have won in certain aspects. Like, for instance, you know, you could go talk to a millionaire and a millionaire could tell you, could teach you how to how to make a million dollars and whatnot, but they can't teach you how to control bad habits and not not drink or not do drugs or, you know, maybe they don't know how to get women. You know, they know how to make money, but they don't know how to get women or whatnot. So a lot of people, it's like nobody dies a virgin, you know, because life fuck, kind of fucks us all at the end of the day. It, like, yeah. So everybody that you know, every person that you meet, no matter what, is experiencing something that they feel like they don't have control over. You know, you may have so many things in your life locked down, but there's certain parts of your life you just feel like, fuck, if I could just get this one thing right, then everything will make sense. And life is busy, a lot of shit going on. So it's like, back to back, you know, you got phone, you got the thing, you know, the, the t text message. Sorry, my face is greasy and shit like that. So I got the light on and whatnot because, you know, it's nighttime and whatnot. Um, but it's just like life is just really busy and, and it's hard for you to really get, your, get yourself right. You have to stop time, it feels like, almost. You have to stop so much shit and just... Some people are so far behind, they have to, they have to stop and just be, just do nothing for a while. Like, some people... All right, I have a nine to five job for all these years and they're like, man, one day I'm just gonna quit and start my own business. Like, no, you're not. Like, you're about to, you're gonna do that, your nine to five job and you might quit. I mean, the mass, most people, really, really most people, you might quit, but you might just pause for a while. You might take like two months off or a break or something because you're just in a, in a position where like, all you know how to do is work. So you gotta like, get that juice up off you before you can even attempt to do something else, you know? Um, some people are home so long when they're on breaks from work, they're like, yo, I gotta get back to work, I gotta do something like that. So shit like that, you know what I'm saying? So for the most part, uh, it's hard to get to your higher self because there's just so much shit going on. So there's information, possibly, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to give you information that possibly you have heard and you've forgotten. You used to live, but you don't live like that no more. You used to take action and your foundation was this type of shit right here that I'm about to start teaching you, that I teach on my channel, but you don't, you don't remember that. You don't remember to go back to the videos. You're so caught up in the matrix. You're so caught up in the, in a hamster wheel. You're just running, 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 running. You know, you're just going, going, going. And uh, that's what fucks us up because before you know, you look up and life is, uh, it's just passed you by. Before you know it, you look up and you, your, your parents are gone and your family's gone. And, everybody that you really thought would be around forever is gone, you know? And if there were just certain parts of yourself that you tackled early along the way, you may have not fell out with certain relationships. You probably wouldn't have took certain jobs. You probably would have started to do certain things sooner. And this shit matters because it's like, while you're over here digging around and playing with life and whatnot, there's individuals higher up on this hierarchy of life and they got motherfuckers working quadruple overtime on your future. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you 
know anybody else around is, and is there anybody in your life anyone in your life at all that has an automobile company as big as ford motors or has an automobile company as big as toyota or nissan or or lexus anyone anyone at all do you have do you know anybody at all in your life that has all that shit going on you probably don't because most people are are, are the people you know they're the, they're the masses the masses aren't are, are, are being so worked on to stay at a certain level. So it's hard to really expand and think for yourself, but you can do it. You can do it. And the only way you're going to get there is by letting go of a lot of bullshit that you're hooked on to, like freeing yourself. You have to free yourself. And by self, I'm talking about your mind. And we're not just talking about your subconscious mind here. We're talking about your conscious mind, where your ego lies, where your ego is trapped, where, because the ego just wants to survive. You get what I'm saying? You're born into this, into an egocentric world. So before you came here, before you, you know, were, were conceived, you didn't have a name. There was no name. There was nothing to call you. You know, it was the outside individuals, the parents, it was the people outside. That type of energy was like, all right, we're going to name this being this entity, that, but you didn't have a name or anything like that. So you come here and then it's just like, you get weighed down by so much thoughts and, and circumstances and events. And then you think of your name and then everything that goes with your name, you know, like, so your name's Mark. I was like, Oh, Mark is fat or Mark is rich or Mark is, is doing good in life. Mark is a lazy guy. You know, you just start getting attached to the name. And then based on society, you know, everyone has a name. So you're trying to, Make your name the most valuable name. At least some of us are. Some people are just complete, not doing shit with their life. But I would hope that's not you. If if you it is, you keep watching my videos. They'll get you out of that mindset. But it's just people out there that that think they're they're their name. So your whole life, you're trying to uphold this image of who you think you are because they think that you are this thing, and you're trying to you know hold up, keep keep it up. You're trying to manage it, and you never really get to your higher self. Never get to your higher self because you don't have time to give yourself that critical self-analysis. You don't have time to, to stretch your mind. You know, you don't have time to, to see how far you can really go, things that you can really do, which are all the things that, like, that shit is mandatory for you to really succeed. And I'm not talking about succeed by just, like, you know, you become – you know, famous online, you get all these followers, or you become the famous rapper, you get money. It's just like every day of your life feeling like you're unfuckwittable. Every single day of your life, you go every day of your life, you feel like you don't have no product. I feel like I don't have no problems. Like maybe I do, maybe I'm an asshole. Maybe I am. Oh no. Maybe I am. But I really, and I'm not saying like I think I'm a know it all or anything. It's not like that. It's just that I really, trust myself i really tr trust my thoughts because i put in the endless hours of like discovering who i am and reading book after book just proving to myself that this this dead guy is more right than that dead guy and this guy has it but he didn't figure it out like this one and you put pieces together and you're letting go of, of false ideologies and thoughts and dreams and you 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 just you know you're learning about anthropology and life and, and all types of like biology and, and chemistry and just, you know, all these things and metaphysics, quantum physics and hermetic principles. And you're just trying to wrap it all together. Like I do that. I do that. So I really, I'm really close. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know there's more to discover about myself, but I dedicate my life to this. You know, I dedicate my life to it. And a lot of people aren't able to wake up every day and be so honest with yourself and, and, and know that know that they, they're a God, you know what I'm saying? Not like just through the rumors, not because there's a song about it or not because that's the trend. It's just like a knowing that all power lies within you. You really gotta believe that shit, really gotta believe that you're the, the, the best advice that you can get. It's really you. And then you gotta trust your intuition and understand when things are happening to you, like happening to you, you know that it's happening for you. You feel me? Like, so for instance, I just said, I just said, like, you gotta understand that nobody, like you give yourself the best advice, but you also gotta understand when your metaphysical, when your meta metaphysiology is working, 
when your when your law of attraction, so to speak, is working and you're you're drawing towards you the things that you need in order to get you to the top of that house. Like it's an invisible ladder. Every new thought, every new person, and that the way like you know the universe or God or whatever you want to call it, the way the way that that omnipresent source works with you, the coding, it it usually sends people, individuals, as ladders to help you get to where you got to get to. You know what I'm saying? And many people, because life is full of lessons, so you don't really know who to trust. So you, 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 every person's a ladder. You use a ladder, you know, and it's stable. Some, some, some of the, the platforms stay. They just stay. Some of the steps, they stay there, but some break and fall apart because you had to, you had to, the, there was a lesson involved in there. There was a certain way you were stepping on that one. You shouldn't have did it. You probably didn't do right in that relationship. Or, you know, a little shit like that. You know, it's a little bit of a rant, but you know how my teachings are. It's like, you got to take what you could take from it and make it work for you. So, I know it's my phone. Oh, I'm sorry. So, what I'm talking about, like I said, was a, it's a critical analysis. It's a critical analysis. You really gotta take yourself. Like I think Meek Mill said it in a song one time. He like, you know, you gotta take yourself outside yourself and look at yourself and see how you play in yourself, nigga. It is really like that. It's really like that. Like you gotta, you gotta get in the habit. Write that down too. Get in the habit of stopping time. Learn how to get in the habit of putting things on pause. Putting relationships on pause, putting people on pause, putting jobs on pause, putting social media on pause, put sex on pause, put masturbation on pause, put weed on pause, you know, put these TV shows on pause, put the music on pause, you know, the hanging out on pause, the partying on pause, the naps on pause. So many things you gotta stop doing and you gotta put on pause all to get to your higher self. Because whether you give a fuck or not, and I know most people don't, but hopefully you care. Whether you give a fuck or not, like things are being done to you. Shit's being done to you. Motherfuckers like have set up systems to make sure you don't reach your higher self, make sure you don't have a happy life. And if you would just take these words serious and understand that you caused this video to be drawn into rea your reality by vibrating and by thinking a certain way. You literally thought this video up. A lot of my videos come at the right time, don't they? At the right time. And it's simply because you're in a vibrational state right now that is drawing towards you this version of yourself. I'm nothing more than a, than a reflection of you. I'm nothing more than another version of you. I'm just saying things that you're thinking, but I'm just articulating it a lot better. I'm finishing sentence, sentences that you don't get to finish because as soon as you start thinking like this, your kid might bust in the room or your phone might ring or you might want to just jump on Instagram real quick or a commercial might come on or something happens. Something happens that throws you off and takes you right back down to your lower self where nothing really gets done. Nothing gets done. Remember all the things I told you you got to put on pause? Like those, like, you stop doing a lot of those, you really put those things on pause. You catapult. You catapult to the top. Put the food down. The food down, the food, the, the food down. The food that you're eating, cut that shit off. And you know it's not good for you. You know it's fucking you up. And this is why you have to do a critical analysis. Okay? Like, you have to do a critical analysis. You have to understand that step one is awareness. All right, and in the next video, we're gonna go deeper into this topic because this is how you undo what's been done to you. You know what I'm saying? And it's not like, it's, yeah, it's both, it's been done to you and then you've been doing it to yourself. So it's like a double whammy. So you can't just go out like that, you feel me? So we're gonna go deeper in the next video. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you watch part two, um, look for part two and, um, Let's do this shit, man. It's the critical self-analysis. This is really how we reach our higher self. You know? All right, peace.